Timothy T. Potatoes. My name is um Prince Orange and AKA Irish. <laughs> and I'm the Lord and Savior Fat Man. I he I heal the fat and I I I I don't know my powers. I don't know myself! Who am I? <laughs> Oh god, I kind of like almost, I almost fucked up my intro, like, I was like, I was like, ah oh, shit, <laughs> I'm like, shit, what, what do I normally say? I have no idea. I, I don't know. You probably should like, you should probably put it on like a fucking sticky note, and just like slam it on top of your like, uh, laptop. Probably. Just be like, just like, write on a little sticky note and just slam it like somewhere right where you can see it. You know what I always wanted to do, um, uh, with, with like sticky notes, uh, like, you, uh, like make like, uh, like put like someone's like full name, like first last name, uh, a random time and like in like the, in like the location and like the address of the location I'm at. I'm like, and I just walk up to and I just walk up to that person and I'm like. Hey, uh, hey, are you so and so? Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations, you're about to be reaped. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're talking dead like me. Yes. For oh, those of you, man, I, I miss that show so much. For those of you who didn't get that glorious obscure reference, <laughs> well, I got it right when you were talking about writing like the the, uh, the time and date and the name. Right when you said that, I was just like, oh. You talking about like like me yeah that Honestly, that that show uh, is just it's awesome you know what uh you know what it's like the most laziest halloween costume you can you can uh, you can do all you need to do is just wear your street clothes and, and uh and carry around sticky notes <laughs> and and uh and whenever someone asks you he's like who the hell you're supposed to be oh i'm oh i'm the reaper it's like uh, <laughs> you don't have the robes it's like it's like oh have you seen that like me? It's like we don't wear the robes. We we look we look just like regular human beings and we carry around sticky notes. And Except we'll this isn't my real face. I'm yeah, like so, I, I'm way more handsome than what I look right now. Yeah, I'm like way more handsome right now. Oh, you know what'd be funny? Like just put a sticky note on the uh, on the front of your face and, and say this is not my real face. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just it'll be like, uh, then what's your true face? Oh, you know, just sexiness. Yeah. I used to be a model until I died. Yeah. I, I went head first into a meat grinder. <laughs> oh man, I I love Daisy. She she was hot. Yeah, she was annoying. Like the first, like the like the the rest of the uh, the first season, but then she got like lovable. Yeah, I think because she, like, developed more character development because uh, of, uh, you know, just, like, different scenarios. Yeah, different scenarios, like, you tend to, you tend to grow, grow fonder of characters. As that, you watch. As you watch them, because uh, you see them interact with other characters, and you're like, you're like, huh, I actually like this person. Yeah, I, I kind of hate that other bitch that left. I mean, she just, like... I can't, I can't even remember her name. <laughs> I think it was like Beth or something or Betty. <laughs> Screw you, Betty. I can't. Now I have to look it up because I don't know. <laughs> I, I just she, she and pissed I've seen me that off. like me like three times. She just pissed me off because of, I don't want to spoil anything just in case. But she she just did the most stupidest thing. It just pisses me off. And uh I hate when I get into shows and like certain characters start doing certain things that I really hate but I still love them. And yeah. it's just like it tears me apart. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Okay. All right. Oh, oh there there's there, there's something I want to talk about. Wait. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. Her name was Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Romer, that was that was the first chick that was in like the first six the first six episodes. Suck my dick and call I, me Excalibur. I can't believe that you got that right. Holy crap! 
Oh man, I said screw you, Betty, too. So that just fucking worked. <laughs> oh my god, that that was that was gold right there. That is just pure gold. But anyway, there is the topic I want to talk about. I want to talk about that Key and Peele uh, 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 video that I sent you. No. Yes, I, I want because it's funny. Because no, it's not. Know, it's weird. You no, know, it's it's funny because of what happened in the last podcast. Remember? Oh, when you got oh, and Satan <laughs> called you down to hell for a booty call. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, All right. Uh, it's funny because like uh, I, when I first watched that uh, that sketch on uh, TV, it was like a few days ago. I, like I think it was like Thursday or Friday. I was watching Key and Peel, and that fucking episode came on, and I lost my shit. It was just so funny because, like, at first, I, I thought it was just gonna be them talking about Satan and everything, but then fucking. Uh, uh, P, uh, Key, uh, Key's uh, eyes start to glow, and there was like red lights, and he's like, "I am Satan." I'm like, "Oh my god, holy shit, that's awesome!" Yeah, and then they started like raping Satan and shit. <laughs> like, uh, 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 Key's character, George Gina, she stuck a safety pin in and... his urethra, and <laughs> his urethra, and he's like, "Oh fuck, that hurt." And uh, they, and she's like, I'm ringing it out. I'm ringing it out. And uh, oh man, and then like uh, Esther, uh, played by uh, Jordan Peele, she's like, take, take me, take me. I want some of this, uh, some of this motherfucker. And like uh, they, they do like this little thing, uh, like uh, supernatural kind of does, you know, with the smoke going out from one mouth into the other, and like yeah. you get possessed. And then. <laughs> it was like, who the hell is this bitch? <laughs> who the hell is this crazy bitch? And then uh, Esther is like, it's me, motherfucker, young worst nightmare. <laughs> and then she's like riding his dick or something. <laughs> <sighs> And then she like, uh, like clenches up her pussy and like just ri- uh, like breaks off his dick. And he's like, oh god, I'll do anything else you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's oh kind of funny God. is that, like, like towards the end of it, Satan said, "Like I, I said, yeah, Jesus I accept, like, uh, yeah, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior." And they're like, "That's too late for that now." <laughs> God. Oh man. That. Fuck. That was probably the second most weirdest thing you sent me that this month. Uh, I, I I thought you would get a huge kick out of it because not really. It was kind of weird for me. I was like, I was like, okay. Well, I I, I watch a lot of Key and Peel, and I I love all their sketches and shit like Flicker. Oh my god, that was the best. Uh, but I, I just love their sense of humor. I, I I guess you don't really like their sense of humor. Um, their sense of humor is kind of like a hit and miss with me. Uh, like, I don't, like, outright hate it. It's just, I don't get it, like, half the time. Well, there's nothing really to get. It's just, like, they set up, like, a small story and just, like, kind of play around with it. Well, I know. Well, I know that. I mean, I just, uh, I mean, I, I mean, I don't think they're, like, the worst comedians, <clears throat> unlike Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I had to, like, I had to throw in that quick jab to the nuts. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that. It's just, I don't, like... I you don't just, fully under, like, stand. I think the reason why I fully don't understand it is because I am not black. Well, I don't think you have to be... I mean, I I find it hilarious and not... Well, I, I, I guess I'm kind of black. If you, well... Like, <laughs> like, not, like, not, like, in, uh, like, in, like, heritage or anything, but, like, in spirit, sort of. Well, you were you said you you said you have like a lot of black friends and family, so you're kind of like in you're kind of embraced in that culture, sorta. Yeah, kind of. I mean, uh, I, I I've watched like a lot of uh, black uh, like movies and TV shows, so uh, I I, I kind of uh, get the humor. Me, uh, honestly, I think the only the only thing I possibly saw all the way through 
is probably considered black is probably the Boondocks, and that's about it. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I, like, I watch Medea. I, I literally watch, like, I watch pretty much all of the Medea movies as much as I could. Yeah. And I love, uh, 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 what the fuck? I forgot his name. Tyler Perry. <laughs> Tyler Perry, thank you. And, uh, I, I fucking love Tyler Perry because his, uh, Medea, is, like, his Medea character is, like, out of this fucking world. I. I've seen maybe one or two Medea movies, and I just... Uh. I, I, I watch I watch Witness Protection, and this is my favorite scene uh, out of, like, all, all of the whole movie is when uh, the little boy, is like, he, he doesn't want to get up out of the bed, but then Medea, like, lifts up the covers, and, she, and she's like, you best get out of this bed, or else I'll make you taste the rainbow. <laughs> because he commented saying that she looked like a big bag of Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, I get it. Okay, that is crazy. And, and she just lifts up the covers because he's like hiding under it. And she, she just, he like fucking just whispers it. He's like, you best get out of this bed or I'll make you taste the rainbow. <laughs> yeah. And, and that just fucking sold the movie for me. I, I mean, I don't think like Tyler Perry or. Or Keen Peel or or unfunny. I don't think that at all. I just don't get the humor myself. Okay, because yeah, I, I practically just grew up watching like uh, especially like In Living Color and The Waynes and uh, and uh, Keen well, Peel. Uh, not Keen because Peele, uh, 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 I'm talking about Keenan and Kel. Yeah, you kind of like immerse yourself in the um. In the African American culture, me, uh, I really didn't. Yeah, I, I, I like, I like, I went into the deep pool. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I fucking cannonballed in that shit, and I made like huge splash. <laughs> yeah, with your fat ass, you splashed black all over people. <laughs> yeah, uh... Uh, that might have been a little racist, but I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's kind of funny though. Uh, well, you you like King Batch though. Yeah, I like King Batch. Yeah, King Batch is awesome. And honestly, I, I'm gonna be honest here. I sometimes don't really get some of the humor, but I, I still find it funny because like a, a part of me kind of like sort of gets it, just in like context. Uh, like like. Uh, like all all that Jordan shoes shit, I I don't get. Oh, why. I don't get that either. I'm like, yeah, I I don't get that because like their shoes, and I guess because they're made by like Michael Jordan. I don't know, and like I, 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 I know that, that some I know some black people like they're they're really into like their shoes. I I, I kind of noticed that like they're like really, really into their shoes like. Yeah, like that one King Batch. Uh, like line worse where, than like, women, apparently. From yeah. from what I've seen in King Batch and and Jerry Perp Drink and uh, it, Clarity. And, yeah, and Clarity. I haven't seen any Clarity stuff, but oh, yeah. I have. Oh but yeah, also, they're, they're, oh, they're all Daystorm. about the Jordan. Daystorm. Oh, Daystorm! I love Daystorm. Yeah, Daystorm did did a couple of Jordans and Jordan vines. Because yeah, like... Uh, uh, like, I remember this one by, uh, which I thought was kind of hilarious because of what just King Batch is. Like, uh, he's walking with his girl and she, like, steps on his J. And then, like, there's, like, a whistle and they take the girl away and they, like, polish his shoe and then, like, they bring in another girl. Yeah. And she's like, nice J's. And Batch is like, don't step on him, bitch. But in, yeah. like, the nicest way. He's like, yeah, don't step on him, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I, they're like really, uh, and they're, oh, in that one King Badge vine, um, like, uh, like he just bought like, uh, like a four hundred dollar pair of J's, and then Curry shows up and it's like, and it's like, hey Badge, you want want to download this this app? It's like, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah it's like, sure. Not... How much does it cost? One dollar? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but I think it was Daystorm. I think he was the one that talked about the app. It was either Daystorm or, or Curtis. I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Daystorm because I, I watched like all. They dress the same, so I kind of like. 
They kind of I, I watched it. all of King Batch's vines, like, religiously. <laughs> yeah, that's not creepy at all. Uh, well, it's just because, uh, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm fully immersed into the black culture. Yeah. Because uh, I, I just, you know, I, I have friends and family that are black, so it's like, I kind of want, I'm like, sort of introduced, you know, just so that everyone's like on the same page, sort of. Uh I think you're probably not going to like me, but I probably, uh, I think I only had, like, two black friends in the, in the course of a year. Uh, honestly, I think I've only had one, to be honest. I mean, uh, my friend Britton, uh, uh, from Arizona, uh, he's like, he was like my only real black friend in middle school. I mean, there was this one girl, Leanna, she was kind of black. Well, she was black, but... We weren't really friends, but we sort of like socialized, sort of, because it was like a small school. Yeah, I mean, but uh, I mean, it's like I don't have like uh, I've probably had like a few black friends, but none that were like really my friends, you know? Yeah, um, yeah, I only met like two black guys in like in the course of under one year. Uh, the first was Brandon. He was pretty much a blurred. Black nerd thing, I doesn't get that reference. Um, uh, and uh, like he he like like he was like a real big anime nut like us, and like we would talk when well, like after like after class and sometimes during break we would like uh, talk about some of our fam- favorite animes and like some like hypothetical questions, you know, kind of like what you and me do. Yeah. Uh, uh and uh. And one that I recently met, Omar, like, he's, like, he's a super smart motherfucker. <laughs> he's, like, super smart like me. Yeah, he's, like, a super smart motherfucker. Me and him, like, talked about, like, politics and racism, like, and, and other stuff. Like, uh, I mean, he's just, he's just super smart, you know? Yeah, uh, actually, you know, now that I realize that, I actually have three black friends as of right now. Goddamn uh, it. <laughs> Because I just now remembered, I actually have, like, two other black friends on my Facebook. Uh, uh, I met one through Kaijudo. He, he's a he's a blurred, like, us. Uh, well, not a blurred, but, you know, he's a black nerd. Yeah, uh, he's, a, but, he's a nerd. And then I met this other dude uh, through another friend, this white chick he was dating. And then me and him, well, me and her were kind of close, like, friends. But then she, like, became a total bitch. Uh, you know how white girls go. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, then me and him, me and him became friends because of like through her and me and him just have been. Uh, we we don't talk as much, but we you know we kind of socialize a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I yeah I get that. But yeah, I, I have a few black friends, but like uh, they're they're not like I don't think they're like. King Batch Black, you know? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I was trying to figure out how to say this without saying extremely, extremely <laughs> racist. <laughs> well, it, it, like, there, there's a... There, uh, not, no offense to, like, black people, but they, uh, they, they... Some of them have, like, a certain status, like, normal people, and then, like, there's, like, a higher black status. Like, it, it's kind of like... Uh, it's like it's like the same thing as white people, you know. Like there are white nerds, white athletes, and like really white people that are, are like very uh, ignorant and stupid, and you know stuff like that. Yeah. And, and there's sort of the same thing with black people, you know. There are the black nerds, black athletes, and you know just the the black people. Yeah, the black ignorant people. Yeah. And, and uh, so like. There's sort of in a hierarchy, not like a hierarchy, but <laughs> I don't know how I'm trying to say it. Uh, it's just there's there's sort of levels to a person, but everyone's unique, you know. Not everyone's the same, but there is like a, a single common thing with certain people. There, it, there's one common element to every person, is what I'm saying. Everyone is is everyone is different, but there is one common element with everyone. Yeah, that's well put, it, Dexter. It, it's like 
it's like you and me. We love anime. We love you know we're we're nerds. Yeah, we love anime. So that, that's our element. We so, love anime. We love uh, uh 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 Star Wars. We love like there's a lot of stuff. Shit. If if I named all the stuff that we that we love slash like, uh, we'll, this we'll podcast be here, we'll be here for like ten hours at least. Nah, probably like maybe forty five minutes at at most. <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, uh, it's the same thing with like jocks. You know, they're they're they have their sort of element, but they also have like maybe like some people have more than one element, really. Well, yeah, because me, it's like uh, for me, it's it's the anime thing. Sometimes it's the it's welding the thing. well, yeah, the welding thing because uh, uh because uh, I met both Brandon and Omar uh in my welding class. Yeah, but th- there is at least one element that everyone connects with. Yeah, because I I'm trying to like make uh work friends sort of. Yeah. I I guess and, Yeah, it's kind of like that. You know, like there's work friends and then like there's, there's uh social friends. You know, there's like there are different as I've been saying elements, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I have I have like several work friends. I mean, well, actually, they should be called, classified as work acquaintances because I don't know that much about them. Uh, well, yeah, but, that's because you're scared to <laughs> you're scared to become friends. You know what? Let's not air out my psychological problems, okay? <laughs> hey, everyone has psychological problems. I mean, I'm a fat guy who still lives with parents and is 21 years. <laughs> It's old and hasn't had like a a, a a job more than a two week. Yeah, but I'm not too comfortable about airing my psychological trauma, my psychological <laughs> problems, uh, via the internet. Okay. Yeah, but you know, uh, uh, Jack does. And, you know, uh, you know, th- th- everyone can be supportive. I mean, there are some dicks out there, but everyone can be supportive. Not I, the I so- exper- not the experiences I had, not the experiences I had with the internet. Well, yeah, that's because, you know, the internet is mostly dicks, but there are good people, but, you know, it's not like, it's not like, you know, it can really hurt you at this moment, because, I mean, there, there are, like, there's me that can help you through shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there is, like, a fresh start now, uh, with, with, uh, with the reboot, sorta, it's kind of like a fresh start, I, I really wanted to do, like, a new channel for Fat and Irish, but I did see your point when uh, we talked about this, uh, about how we would have to, like, regain all, all the, like, 43 subscribers we have right now. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, 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 uh, a new, a new fresh start on a new channel would have been nice, you know, just kind of, like, wipe the slate clean. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I, I don't, we we care we care about our audience. Yeah, and if we did start a new channel, then we would have just a brand new audience, and th- that would mean that we would be ditching our old, well, technically yours, but but our audience on the Angry Anime Manga News channel, which is this channel now that's fat and Irish. Yeah, you know, there's been several times that I've like legitimately thought about like deleting every episode of of AAMN. Oh really? Yeah. Well I guess you could, but that's kind of part of the history of this channel. Yeah, see see I thought about that. I was like, well if I delete it then that means like all the all the work that I put like seven years into I mean it's not the best. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna sit and, here and say, "Oh, it's I like worked... the greatest channel of all fucking time." Yeah, it's the greatest channel of all time, and I dedicated my blood, sweat, and tears to it. No, I didn't do any of that. I just not really. I, what I did was just you I was turned just on some... the camera and then you sat there talking about anime. <laughs> Pretty much, that's like that's like the the blunt summarization of it. Is pretty much it. All I had was an El Cheapo digital camera, a tripod, and all I did was just uh was just turn the freaking camera on, sat on my tripod, sit down in my chair, turn the camera on, 
uh, said, uh, said what I wanted to say about a particular anime that was either, like, semi-scripted or just off the fly in general. Yeah, but you gotta admit, you did get 43 subscribers. Which is, which I'm kind of surprised because, you know, I mean, it's not a lot, but it is something. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm actually, you know, I honestly, I think in the very beginning when you created this channel, I think we both sort of created it. Because we both, it, it was, yeah. we came up with the idea to do reviews uh, of animes because, you know, we loved animes and we were still in school. So yeah. we had like time after school to do shit. But it was your dick move, which I'm bringing back up, <laughs> to go solo because you still didn't trust me back then. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do I? Okay. If I had to like drive over there and suck your dick for you to drop this, I will do that. I will gladly do that. <laughs> Oh, I, I, you don't need to do that. I forgive you because I understand. It, it, you, you were shy. You were still shy. You were still not sure, trusting we were, of me. We were and, like in freshman year. Freshman I, year, I, I get, Dexter. I, I know, I know. But I'm just saying that is part of the AAMN history. We, okay. All right. You know what, audience? There's something you need to know about me. Uh, especially if you guys like... If, even if you guys know me on a personal level, and I told Omar this, like, the first day we met, I'm like, I don't trust people off the bat. You gotta earn it. And in in our first year, you didn't earn squat. <laughs> okay? You didn't earn squat, okay? <laughs> I didn't... Yeah. I trusted you as far as I could throw you. And... <laughs> You're probably like you're probably, you're probably like pick me up and then set me down just like right in front of you. No, no, I'd probably get a hernia as soon as I attempt to pick your ass up. <laughs> exactly. So but it, it, I, I, I get that, but it is part of our history because we did come up with the idea together, but you decided to go solo. Yeah, because I. Yeah, because I was stupid. I didn't trust you or Dave, for that matter. Well, and me not trusting now, Dave now, was a correct freaking call, by the way. Yes, that was a good call. But you know, like if if we did decide to do the uh, if we decided to do AMA together back then, and Dave was part of it, and then like Dave, you know, was you know stole the douchebag and you know all that, then we could we'll, kick we we'll, could kick his ass out like we did in our life. D don't worry, audience. We'll get. We'll explain Dave's little backstory in a little bit. Because... And, and, and that'll probably be in another podcast. No, we're probably gonna air it out now, but <laughs> like right after this, because you know, since we're since we're talking about the history, might as well like air everything out. <laughs> yeah, it was like it's just, uh, and plus, this is actually the first time we're actually like airing like actual history out instead of like in vlogs. Yeah, because... we're we're getting two sides of a story. Yeah, because uh, you're going to get my side, and you're going to get Dexter's side of it. You haven't heard Dexter's side. You probably, for those of you who've been here from the beginning, and I'm and by beginning, I mean the beginning of the AMN uh, uh, show to the end. And if you've been here that long, I freaking, I you deserve all the bronze stars, all the cakes, all the cookies, all the muffins. Every, hey! Every, no muffins! Every pastry, every snack, every snack of your choosing, every man, woman, and child of your of your selection. What? What? Child? <laughs> <laughs> I you know I'm my pedals into this town. <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry. When I'm on a tangent, I say stuff that just like flies out my mouth. <laughs> but it, 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 anyways, uh. As as the history goes, it 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 could have been good either way, because if 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 we did happen to need to kick Dave out, we could have. You know, it's not like he had to stay there for fucking forever. Well, I know that, but you know, 
You, you, you just you, honestly, you just didn't plan ahead because you, you were thinking a, as the president, which is fine. But you could have, you could have, you know, thought like, oh, if I do let, if we do do the uh, uh, reviews together, it could, it would have been fun. And if something happens, then we could just, you know, en end it or cut someone out. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Whenever I met you and Dave, like I knew from the get go. Like, I, I'm, I'm good at reading people. The, the, the reason why I'm good at reading people is the empathy really comes in handy because, oh, yeah. because if I, because, uh, if I sense your emotions, uh, I'm pretty much, by me sensing your emotions, I kind of sense how good of a character you are. And honestly, I knew you wouldn't be you wouldn't betray me unless the price was extremely right. <laughs> like uh, lifetime foam muffins. Yeah, <laughs> I I'd probably go like Kurt all Curtis on you <laughs> from Todd. Yeah, sell me. Yeah, sell me out, and then like <laughs> ten seconds later, like ball like ball in a field position because you betrayed your best friend. <laughs> yeah, like I have a problem. <laughs> Yeah, it's like what have I done? <laughs> but yeah, I, I I would never betray you in a million years unless the price uh, was right. Unless if the price was extremely right. See, I, I mean, uh, great. Like if we were in like a CIA detention area and they were grilling me for information on you, I would keep my mouth shut. Or I would like feed them a story like I learned from <laughs> Burn Notice. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, I would never sell you out. Yeah, I would literally go to jail for you, to be honest. Okay, but Dave, he Dave. he would have sold you out for a nickel, penny, penny nickel, oh. maybe, maybe I don't know. He he would. He he wasn't loyal to anyone. No, and uh, remember that thing. Um, that yeah, you're talking about the jail thing. No, 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 oh. no. Like that thing you were on about. Like, uh, it was like around 2010, 2011. Uh, do you want to like go there? Are you talking about Adrian or Brittany? No, I'm talking about the thing with the signers. Oh yeah, I don't really want to bring that up. That, <laughs> that's something I kind of don't want to bring up for one or two reasons. One, it I makes know you sound I, like a crackpot. I, well, kind of. Well, I don't really care if people think I'm crazy because I'm technically crazy. I mean, I, I'm weird and shit. But two is just it was beyond crazy, <laughs> like beyond your regular brand of crazy. That yeah, but it's like two. Just people wouldn't really understand. Yeah, uh, which is why I'm asking before bringing it up. Yeah, I, I don't really want to bring that up, but let, let's just put it this way. Uh, I thought something was going to happen, didn't happen, because, of, you know, I thought something else was going to happen. It was very, it's very complicated. It, it, this was around the time when, uh, when 20, when everybody thought that the world was going to end, like, 2012. Yeah. Now, I, I took that with a grain of salt. I thought it could end or it couldn't end. Well, I'm just saying that was kind of a major part of, part of it. Yeah. So but you gotta admit, the evidence, you know, it was kind of... It was a little compelling. It was a little compelling. I mean, you you almost, you sort of believed it a little. Uh, yeah. Because I, I, I had, like, I technically didn't have facts. I had theories. And the theories were kind of sound. Yeah, and then he introduced me to Dual Network, and I was, like, extremely good at it. Kinda. Well, yeah, you're really good with Black Wings. I'm good with Black Wings. I, I'm not gonna... Black Wings is, like, my... It's, like, my... Uh, Your bread and butter. Well, kind Yeah, it's, like, my go-to deck. I mean, the other decks I use in Dual Network, I just use them to fuck around with. I'm not, yeah. like... Re I'm not really 100% serious, like... Uh, the only deck I probably foresee myself, like, using constantly, like, on a daily basis is probably Black Wings. Yeah. But, but 
anyways. But anyway, just... back to Dave. Anyway, back to Dave. We kind of need to like air this out now, otherwise we're gonna. Have yeah. Like... Okay. Uh, so uh, this... No wait. No. No wait. 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 Think of this as that an Irish marriage counseling. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, th- I think we have a title. Yeah, Fat and Irish Marriage Cowboy. That, that's gonna. <laughs> this is our title for episode seven. This is our yeah, title. Uh, Write it down anyway. now. Write it down now. Uh, 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 dude, I got my notebook out. Chill, dude. But, anyways, uh, oh, we're gonna talk cool. a little bit about Dave, who was sort of like. Our third mouse, uh, not musketeer, uh, third musketeer. Musketeer, uh, what the fuck? I watched Disney back in the 90s, shut up! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for laughing. I, I just got this strange little picture with Dave with like giant ass freaking musketeers. <laughs> Oh yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyways, uh, Dave was sort of our th- third musketeer. Uh, we all met in high school. Uh, me and Brent on the first. For everyone knows on the freshman year, and Dave we met like a few weeks later, I think. Yeah. And, and on the so, bus. Yeah. So we all started to do shit together. I mean, Things. if you if you if you go to my personal channel, uh, my church channel, you'll you'll see a lot of videos with me, Brent, and Dave in it. Well, Dave was not really, like, a huge part of your random videos. Well, yeah, he was sort of, like, in the background because he didn't want to be, like, up front or with us. Yeah, and then he was the cameraman when are we saying guy love. Which I, I don't regret one second. <laughs> I regret it back then, but I don't now. <laughs> yeah, you, well, that's because, you know, we were still... I was kind of... Our, 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 was... our relationships still had kinks. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little bit of a homophobe back then. Not like by homophobe, I don't mean like, oh, the gays must burn. I'm kind of like, I wasn't really comfortable with with the hey, idea. You, you weren't comfortable with the bromance. I wasn't comfortable with the bromance, and I wasn't really too comfortable with having uh, another dude touch me. Yeah, but I mean, I, right now you would have like ten guys on you right now. Well, yeah, that was, like, before I discovered I was bisexual. I mean... Oh, yeah, well, that's because I helped you, because I introduced you to Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> we did... We did uh, write that down. We need to come back to that before this ends. <laughs> <laughs> write that down. We need to come back to that before before this ends. And, you know what's ironic? I say write that down, and that was one of his characters. Yeah, that's I know, right? That's the ironic part. But anyways, Dave, Dave was, he was sort of like the shadow of our life. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, like, uh, he, he was a good friend to me until that day, which uh, it's sort of personal, but I'll, I'll just say this. He lied to me, and, like, one of the, like, he basically lied and used me in a horrible way. And not, like, like completely horrible, but... It was like I, I felt betrayed, basically. Oh, and, are we talking? Oh, oh, um, the thing that we're not mentioning. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it, it just it, it clicked to me, clicked to me that day that he's not the type of friend I need. I don't need a friend that uses me, uh, and lies to me to suit his needs. Oh, uh, you know what was funny was that he flat out told me that. I think I told you, because he flat out told me is like, uh, like I, I'm using uh, I'm using Robert to uh, uh, to like escape my parents and go to the place that we were going to go, uh, which was Washington D.C. By the way, I don't think it's really... no, not D.C. It was Washington State. You know what? That was. Now you know what? Now I was clicking. Was this like during the time? Was this also like during the time you were dating a dream? Because she also lived in Washington. Uh no, we were just friends back then. Okay, because we, we started. Say, we started dating, I think, in 2011. Yeah, it was 2000. Yeah, it was 2011. Or was it? 20, yeah, it was like 2011. Yeah. Yeah, it was 2011. Um, because I still have like. like we. we 
That was like 2011. You're, you're kind of cutting out, bro. Yeah, yeah, that was 2011. Um. Uh. Anyway, yeah, he like flat out told me that he was gonna use you to get to that place we were going to. Uh, going to Washington State, and then I like, I was like, dude, that's not right. And because, you know. In truth, I manipulate you, but not at, least, at least you stabbed me in the front. I don't. <laughs> I can, I can I don't see do the it. attack coming, and I know that I still love you, and you still love me. So I let you plunge that knife right into my heart because I love you. See, my type of manipulation is just like trying to like, just like manipulate you to do for you to give me something that I want, like. Yeah, but basically, I, I give you pretty much what you want all the time. <laughs> yeah, so it's not really much manipulation, but, you know... Well, it was back then, but not now because of our relationship now. Yeah, and... But uh, Dave, he, he, and, he and I manipulated have, and me I and stabbed these, me in the back. Yeah, he, he was going to stab me in the back. See, uh, see, I do it either for my personal gain, and usually my personal gain usually equates to, like, something material. Like, uh... Yeah. Well, like like, uh, like a, a thing of Snickers? Yeah, like a thing of Snickers, uh, a certain game, or, or something of that nature. Uh, or And sometimes I manipulate you for your, for your own good, like... Uh, well, yeah, like with the whole Britney debacle. Yeah, like with your ex-girlfriend, with your crazy-ass ex-girlfriend, like, that was kind of for your Yeah, uh, you, 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 you do it for... You, you you at least are sometimes upcoming about it. Yeah. Like, I, and plus, I'm able to read you better now, so I kind of know, you know, what you really want. Yeah. But n nowadays, we don't really manipulate each other, unless if it's like, if we kind of need something, like, really fast. Like, if I need you, like, like I'm away or something, I need to look something up. Yeah. But it's basically, we turn from manipulating each other to, like, just doing favors. Pretty much. Uh, however, I do kind of sometimes do it for funsies. Well, yeah, so do I. I mean, wh why wouldn't it be fun to manipulate each other for fun? <laughs> yeah, I do it that's, for funsies. That's not the relationship I want. I want one where we're like, I want our relationship that we have now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so he was doing the bad kind of manipulation where he was like straight up going to stab me in the back, and I told you about it. Yeah. And, um... And, and then, then he, blatantly, he 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 did it right when I found out, you know, like when I when I caught him in the lie. Yeah, and and then uh, we haven't heard like Jack from him for like. Well, he tried to contact me, I think, a few months later, but then I was like, dude, uh, I will contact you when I'm ready, and I haven't contacted him since. Oh, and then like a couple months, and then like a month after that, uh. He told Robert that I was in jail. Well, no, that was like, that was like in school. I yeah, think. That, um, that was like during school. That wasn't during the time when he stabbed me in the back. Oh yeah, that was like way before that. Yeah, and and honestly, I didn't believe him. You know that. An yeah. audience, I didn't believe Dave because honestly, that was just that would be just entirely retarded. Because Brent was like, what, you are like 16, 17 at the time? I was like 17. You you wouldn't have gone to jail. You would have gone to juvie. If he said you went to juvie, I may have believed it, depending on like what exactly happened, and I would get your side of the story. But he was he, he said you went to jail, and that was just a complete bold-faced lie. Did, did he say what for? No, he didn't. Oh, okay, because if you so, told which me... Is, which is why, you know, I sort of didn't believe him because he didn't say why. Yeah, because if you know someone went to jail, you're going to know what they went in for. That's yeah. just common knowledge. And plus, I, like, contacted you and, like, you weren't in jail. You were at home. Yeah, I was like, he was like, yeah, I think he, like, called me. I was like, uh, I was like, hey, what's up? It's like, it's like, hey, where, where are you at? I'm like, uh, I'm at my house. I'm chilling, playing video games. What's up? I think we either, I either called you or I messaged you. You probably on me Facebook. Yeah, you probably messaged me on Facebook because it was like way before you discovered text messaging. Well, I got text messaging when I was 18. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It was like way before. Yeah, it was like way before that. You're like, if I was 17, you were probably like 16 at the time. Yeah. 
But all in all, audience and viewers, he, he was just not a good friend to have around. And that's the moral of the story of this. Uh, tr- he was he was a backstabbing asshole. And like I said, like the when I was in freshman year and I first met Robert and Dave, I knew Robert would not stab me in the back. I'm, I'm the greatest best friend you ever have. Yeah, that's true. And Dave, I don't know. Like when I looked at him, I was like, "You, you could just sense something off." I could sense something off. Of like, if we there was, do, there was a disturbance in the force. Yeah, there was a disturbance in the force. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, and I didn't want to tell you because I was like, because well, I, I, I kind of knew some of his shortcomings because he has been honest with me a few times. Yeah, but uh, he, he just. It was just the whole lying and betraying me thing. Yeah, that kind of like broke. That and was using final, me. That was that, the final that, straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, I know. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to be truthful about this. He actually harmed me a few times, actually. He, like, sometimes he would, like, choke me. But, like, you know, I would always count it as, like, playful thing. Like, you know, I would choke you when I would suck your dick or something. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, he would choke me. Okay. I never. You, I didn't. Ne- Oh yeah, I'm not gonna say I never put your um, put my hands on you, but I uh, but the only thing I've probably done was like punch you. Like, well, you've punched me, and we both hit each other in the heads that one time because we were really pissed at each other. Oh yeah, I remember but, that. But you never actually physically like choked me to harm me. I think he actually did it to harm me in some way. But like I, I thought you know. No, like, I generally. never like actually like attempted to i mean i joke around about killing you i mean well yeah know, of course and it's I, our thing. I do the same with you <laughs> it, it's, our, it's, it's our, our thing it's our thing i mean we joke around with killing each other but we wouldn't but, actually but do dave it. he seemed a little more serious about it he was a little bit more serious about it me me and dexter like you guys will see it like we'll, we'll like joke around like like killing each other raping each other or something of that nature and yeah, but well, we won't well, well, we're, we're we pretty won't much actually like... do it yeah, we we joke a lot about things that we are... We both have dark senses of humor. Yeah, and that's what kind of makes us compatible a bit. Yeah, because, you know, just, you know, if you just don't get our sense of humor, then I guess, you know, there's the door. Yeah, you, but... You, you can leave they... whenever you want. I mean, no one's keeping you here. Yeah, but Dave, he uh, literally, like, I, I think he kind of wanted to really harm me, but he kind of held himself back. Yeah. Because, I... like, he, he would literally, like, choke me sometimes, like, if I pissed him off. Yeah, I never put... I never... Okay, I have put my hands on you, but never it... above... But never above the neck. Never above yeah. the shoulders. You you you. Never physically like hit me uh, or or did anything like above like the chest or shoulders. I mean, we we basically had... go we, we basically go from like uh, the belly under. That's where yeah. that's our meeting point. Yeah, like well, I hit we, your legs, never... I hit your stomach, yeah. I hit your arm, but my ass. You would spank it sometimes. <laughs> hey, it's torquable, okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't like the way but, it jiggles. And, and, and the only time we've ever actually hit each other in the NAS was because we were, like, really pissed off at each other that one day. I, I yeah. forget even why. Uh... I, I really don't want to remember, though. <laughs> but it was probably for something stupid, and, like, I think I, I think I hit you first, and you hit me. I think it was the other way. Or, yeah, I... it was one way or the other. I don't remember, but and I don't want to. Repressed memories are repressed for a reason. Yeah. But all in all, our me and Brent's friendship audience is it's very unique and it's it's one of our favorite things. Yeah, like because without me and without each other, we would practically be dead right now. Um yeah, me more literal because he's like the only uh he's probably the only actual person I talk to outside of family. Yeah, and you're 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 the person I basically talk to on like a, a real daily basis besides my family. Yeah. 
I mean, I talked to like a few friends, but it's like they're so busy with their lives. It's just uh, like I, I'm not even in their lives anymore, really. Yeah, like yeah, like the people on Facebook. Oh, I need to tell you, uh, Facebook. Uh, you might want to delete your Facebook because uh, starting January first, um, uh, Facebook is about to like let the FBI and CIA and all sorts of government people, um take over so that way they can like track people oh wow yeah you know i'm pretty sure they can do that already they can do that already but now it's going to be like legit like in in to public knowledge well yeah but i i think i'm 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 100 sure that the government can pretty much access facebook and, because uh they, if, if they couldn't before then no like, no see facebook is giving them full access that's that's the difference yeah but uh, they I mean, used to have I, restricted I, I just, access I, I, they used to have like see the government just just kind of like surf facebook but but facebook like the admins they're like given given these government agencies like full control like they can track down uh they can like track uh the photos you take the the statuses you post uh, like if you like if you're recording on a camera, uh, they can like they can well, like that, activate that, the camera and see what you're doing. You know, but there, there's a few things. Uh, the problem with that one, it it could have been fake. Like it could just be bullshit. And two, it could be bullshit. But I... well, and two, even if you did delete your Facebook, it would still be on their servers. So technically, they, they they could still access all your old. All the pictures, all the stats that you posted before you deleted. Yeah, you know, I kind of there, thought, like, I heard it earlier today, and I kind of thought about it, and, like, after, like, the major panic uh, calmed down, I was like, uh, I'm like, uh, you know what, there's really no point in fighting it, because, uh, it, because if I really want The government's wanted, too powerful. One, the government's too powerful, and, and two, like... Uh, they have already been doing this, so why is it a surprise now? Yeah, and, and, and another thing, they, they practically have, like, the NSA has access to pretty much anything in America. Yeah. I mean, it may not be all legal, but there are, you know, they, I mean, they, they already have, like, access to, like, Facebook and Twitter and stuff. Yeah. And... Uh, they, they have, you know, access to everything. Everything on the internet is access to everybody. Yeah. No, ma no matter how good the security is of a website or anything, people can still get access of it if they have, like, like if they're good. Yeah. Uh, it's just, I, I, I've actually just accepted that no matter what we do on the internet, if, you, if you're not living in a, a cave or a treehouse or in the woods in a tent or something, then... Anyone can access anything that you have online. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, the first, I mean, like like I said, I got I got over my my initial freak out. I was like, yeah, you know what, screw it. There's really no need to get worried over it. Because it's already, it's going to happen whether I want it to or not. And, you know, I'm just going to accept facts. I mean, I know it's, I know to you guys, it kind of sounds like I'm just, putting my head in the sand and, and going to ignore the problem. But really, the problem has already came, and, you know, there's really nothing you can do. And and, and if you guys really want to do something, like, fucking... Do write your something. Con write your congressman or something. I mean, I, yeah, I know... Or protest or something, you know? Protest or some bullshit. I mean, you know... No way to get your voice out there. Kill you a know, couple you know, people. the thing about... The thing about government is that the government thinks that like, they're sort of the main power, but our, the founding fathers made it so that the people are the power. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. I I think we should like kind of get off this now because you know yeah, we're kind of politics. We're we're kind of delving into politics now, and I shouldn't have brought up the Facebook thing, but yeah. you know. But yeah, you you wanted to come back to Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, let's wrap up. Yeah, let's go back to Ryan Reynolds. Let's wrap. Let's wrap our lips around this one. <laughs> right Get on it. his thighs. Mm. <laughs> okay, like okay. Uh, a lot of people might be wondering, 
um, if there's not like questions already by this by the time I upload this, like how did I, like how did I discover I was bisexual? Well, Ryan Reynolds was probably like the main cause of it, because you know. Now I just want to say one thing. I'm not bisexual, but if Ryan Reynolds came up to me, offered me sex, I wouldn't turn it down. That's all I gotta say. To me. Even if you're like the straight, even if you're like the straightest guy in the world, usually you will have a small list of probably three dudes that you probably uh, you'll probably have sex with. Yeah, it, it's kind of like uh, if like you and your wife are married, and like there's always that like like that person that you would like get to cheat on your wife with, like a celebrity or something. Yeah. Uh. Like, uh, the woman would probably, like, fuck, like, I don't know, George Clooney or something. And, like, the guy would fuck, like, I guess, Megan Fox. Yeah, but, like... Yeah. Th- th- well, there would be, George like, Clooney's alright for, for an old dude. I mean, well, he's I was a... just I was just going off the top of my head. But I know, a, I know. There, I was I was kind of stating my opinion, though. Uh, there, there's always, like, that one celebrity or, or a few celebrities that everybody would fuck if they had the chance. Yeah. Uh, for me and Dexter both is Ryan Reynolds and, and Neil yeah. Patrick Harris. Oh yeah, Neil Patrick Harris. I mean, honestly, I'm glad he's married because yeah. married men are just <laughs> the forbidden fruits. <laughs> yeah, they're very naughty if it, if the marriage isn't working. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm I'm actually like I'm not homophobe. I'm actually very accepting of everyone. That's why I, I even if Brent is bisexual. I still love him for who he is. Yeah. Because you're awesome. I don't speak with the lisp. I don't really... Okay, I'm going to voice this out there right now. Even though I am bisexual, I do not like the Flaming Queen gays. I really don't (laughs) like them. Fabulous! That annoys me. <laughs> I cannot handle oh, that. Oh, uh, there, there, there is one thing I want to talk about real fast. I love doing impressions. I love uh, like voice acting and shit. I, I love just changing my voice just for the hell of it. I can't do a whole lot of impressions, so he's kind of like the impression guy. He, he's an amateur, but you know, with practice, he might be good. Me, I can only do I can do my leprechaun voice, which you guys hear constantly. You know the tittle tee potatoes. Oh, look, Patty, they stole our our guineas and gold and our lucky charms. We must get it back for Ireland. <laughs> uh, for me, I, I can. And, oh wait, I, I hold on, ca- wait, 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 wait. And here's the second voice I can do. Oh boy, it's time for another story time with Ross Blackdrigan. <laughs> Those uh, are the only two voices I can do. Aside from my regular monotone voice, I, I I can do a few accents and like a few uh, impressions. Like for one, I can do Mickey Mouse. Like I'm the most confident corporation, Paul. Yeah, he can... and, and I can do like Pokemon, like Balba, Balbasaur, Char, Charmander, Squirtle. Okay, but um, yeah, he does impressions. But anyway, I can't want to. <laughs> I don't want to finish my main thought. Sorry, uh, sorry. I, it's just, uh, I, I just really love voice acting impressions. I, I do not like the Flaming Queen gaze. Mainly because, um, well, I'm bisexual, so I really don't have any need for them. If I want a feminine person with, with issues and drama, I just go, I just go screw, uh, screw a chick. Yeah, if you want drama and shit, just go screw a chick. I mean, if I, I mean, I go to men because I want, I want a masculine guy that preferably plays video games. So you know, <laughs> like yeah, basically, you would want me in a hotter form. <laughs> pretty much you with a six pack and, and six packs and and abs and you know like muscles. Yeah. You know what'd be funny though. No wait, no wait. Look, wait, hold on. Let me finish my little, my little, my little fantasy. And and we're playing games. And it's like, and this future boyfriend or whatever he is down the road is like, it's like, hey, if you lose, I'll let you suck my dick. You know, I was thinking though, like, if you actually like, 
or like lose your ass and suck the other's dick or something, you know. <laughs> yeah, like a bat or something. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like, kind of, kind of like, kind of like you don't want to be the bitch, so you, so you play your hardest. <laughs> yeah. To not to uh, lock. Well, but what I was trying to say was, it'd be funny like to, uh, if you like meet someone that's like like my personality and stuff, but, but like. Them. But like with a six pack and shit, and it's yeah. just like, uh, dude, that guy's me. And you're like, no, he isn't. He's like, dude, he's eating a muffin. And he's like, god damn it, I'm dating you. <laughs> at least he's hotter and has a six pack, so at least he has Ryan Reynolds' body, so I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's, it's I like, think it's, it's like, you don't have Ryan Reynolds' body. Okay. <laughs> We're we're now we're yeah now. we're coming up to the end of the podcast people. Uh, we can I had fun with this. I'm glad I we, did too. I'm glad we aired out our our marital problems, and now maybe <laughs> next episodes we can we can like work past them, and and next know, right? and next episodes we will be like will be like a cohesive married unit. <laughs> <laughs> I said unit. <laughs> 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 but yeah thank you guys for listening uh if you like this uh podcast hit that like button with a very big uh, uh. <laughs> oh <laughs> and my we, <laughs> and uh leave a comment uh, voicing your opinions and if you like this podcast or you know just whatever you guys want and uh share and please subscribe we love subscribers and we love y'all everyone who already is subscribed we love our viewers we love our audience and we love our we love everyone we, and make we, sure we you, just want to make love to everyone and make sure you comment on our videos and follow our twitters and all the stuff that we told you that a lot should, before uh, that w- this is the seventh episode people get with the program <laughs> but uh yeah uh thank you thank you again uh peace from the fat man Two D potatoes. We'll be back with another fat Irish podcast. Bye bye.